Hi, I'm Stuart Shepard. This is Stoplight. Here's what he said. If that's the case, then those businesses need to hire their own private security. I think those businesses need to have a, a pail uh, for water to put up their own fire. That's a guy named J.D. Ford, who's running for the Indiana State Senate. He had just been asked about businesses that affirm marriage as the union of one man and one woman. People on the other side of the marriage debate are very fond of using marketing terms to tug at your heart. They'll say it's about fairness, it's about equality. But Mr. Ford was pretty clear. I think those businesses need to have a, a pail uh, for water to put up their own fire. For the purposes of this commentary, we'll just call it the Ford Let It Burn Doctrine. If you're a wedding photographer who actually celebrates marriages that actually are what marriage is, then those businesses need to hire their own private security. If you own a pumpkin patch and corn maze and occasionally open your home to weddings, I think those businesses need to have a, a pail uh, for water. If you're a minister who runs a cute little wedding chapel, put up their own fire. Can you imagine police officers and firefighters pulling up in front of a burning building in a rush and then stopping to check their list? Oh, not that one, O'Leary. It's on the Ford list. We'll just put it on YouTube as an example. And what if the let it burn doctrine should ever take hold? Does your church share a biblical view of marriage? Oh, you go to that church. Where exactly do you live? So when you hear someone use words like fairness and equality, remember to ask whether that includes Christians like you, and then go vote.